Using robots to manage simple tasks in a local emergency department has enabled healthcare staff to tend to more urgent patient needs. Now, rolling out such technology at Changi General Hospital has, in fact, improved its efficiency of care. Oh, this also alleviates the challenges the sector is facing, such as high patient loads and a consequent long waiting time. Shirlin Sia tells us more. Robot is here. This robot is on a mission to deliver medication around the emergency department. It makes 16 delivery rounds each day, saving precious time of up to two hours for the nurses here. With a lighter load, the nurses can have more time with their patients. It saves us a lot of time walking back and forth from my inpatient care areas to the pharmacy. And this is at least a round trip of seven minutes. It gives us the focus time to be with our patient, doing patient care activities uninterrupted instead. Wound dressing for our patients, uh, attending to their basic care needs at the bedside. Emergency this wayfinding robots job is to usher people to different areas of the emergency department. In addition to English, it also speaks Mandarin, Malay and Tamil. With this robot, staff don't have to escort patients in person, saving them one and a half hours each day. This third robot can perform dedicated tasks, such as providing patients in the waiting area with items that they need. For example, if I'm a patient or caregiver and I'm feeling cold in the ED, instead of approaching the nurse to get a blanket, all I would need to do is to keep an eye out for this robot and I can get the blankets from it. This robot alone has reduced the workload of retrieving items by nearly half. This means that service staff can focus on other tasks, like helping patients with payment or discharge queries. It's hoped that these robots can lighten workloads as Singapore hospitals continue to see high patient volumes. Right now, there's a waiting time of between 5 and 8 hours at CGH's emergency department. We wanted to harness the use of robotics to find a more innovative solution to optimise our manpower uh, resources and also to streamline our processes in the ED. One of the challenges is that ED is a complex and crowded environment and uh, so for the robots there's a need to always fine-tune and refine the route map to better navigate to the correct destination. The robotic trial is expected to end in August. CGH is looking to deploy the robots for more tasks or even mobilise the machines elsewhere in the hospital.